Hey guys, in this short video I'd like to show you how to export data in a GLTF format from Analysis Cities because people ask how can we use uh, web visualization, uh, how can we output something from Analysis Cities like we have geometry here in, in the application, we do some processing, then we uh, actually what, what can we do then? And one of the use cases is to prepare your data, to prepare your CAD model for visualization on the web. And uh, this is uh, there you can employ this GLTF format. So let me show you one thing. It's a feature of uh, fresh version of Analysis Citus. It's not released yet, but you can compile uh, the application from sources and uh, you will get it. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load the step file, one of uh, the files we have in the repository so i go like load step here and here i pass the file name and i just need to make sure that all my slashes here are forward and then i also going to fit the scene so you see that i have my test part here it's uh, all in gray it means that it doesn't have any colors associated or any other metadata and I want it to be more colorful, so I go to data. And here, if I select a face, like I select this face, for example, I can scroll down in the parameter editor, find this color setting here and change it to something like red. Or alternatively, I can do also some feature recognition, like I can recognize all the base faces, for example. Uh, these are the faces uh, that have uh, inner contours, at least one of inner contours is there. So here we go, I recognize all the base faces, this one is already colorized so I do not uh, take it into selection. And then I go back to parameters and select here something like, I don't know, blue. Alright, so we have this colorized part and then from the part tab here we can save this part, this colorized part, back to the step format, which is not you know that suitable for 3d visualization and instead uh, using this step format i'm going to use gltf so here i pass it like a file name and here let me just save it to my desktop like test glb so here we go we have this glb file and I can use a viewer of uh, GLTF uh, from Windows. You see that all my colors are preserved. Or alternatively, I can also go to FreeGS website. For that, I type here FreeGS.org and go to the editor. So here I already have some experimental data set, so let me just erase it for now. And I also have, you know, this spotlight on my scene. And besides that, uh, light source on my scene is empty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import my test uh, file here. If I double click here, you see that I have my part and all colors are preserved. So you can use uh, this uh, GLTF format for sort of embedded 3D visualization on the web. And also this uh, GLTF export, it possesses one of one important property. And uh, I'd like to, to mention it also here, like, let me put it on the left and then go back to analysis situs. So what do we have else here? It's a solid actually. This part is a solid part and I can navigate inside this part and then I see some indices here like one, two and three. So let me just pick up some random entity on a scene like the 16th uh, face or maybe, I don't know, for, for maybe for demonstration this one is better. It's uh, face number uh, it's entity number 49 and at, that's actually a face. You see that what is selected here is not just a triangle or set of triangles. Uh, it rather selects the whole face. And what is more important here is that index 
is inherited from analysis status. If I go here and select this face, I see that it's exactly the same index here. Like I have this 49th face. And that's basically it. Uh, what it means is that if you do some feature recognition, for example, or if you do some analysis of your part, uh, whatever it is, like is it feature recognition or manufacturability analysis, you can rely on those indices which you have here because, again, you see that it's uh, face number 19 and here, if I select this face, it's also the same index. And that means that you can export not only GLTF meshes with all those nice colors, but you can also export a sort of, you know, text file enumerating all the features you were able to identify in your CAD model and this way you can give uh, those indices, those faces, some interpretation in your 3D viewer, if you will. So that's it. Again, this feature is sort of uh, work in progress. It's already available in the repository. You can give it a try and it will be released in the next version of, of the software. So thank you and see you later.